gazing at the blue of the night Stars are filling up the sky You take my hand in yours Hey guys, welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. This is another video in the Fly Fishing in Montana vlog series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'll link to them up here and there'll also be links down below. In this video, we are here at this massive dam here behind me. And I've heard that this is the spot just in front of this dam on this beautiful wide river is the spot where the state record of Montana's largest trout was ever caught. 38 pounds, an enormous beast. I don't expect to catch anything like that today. And actually, I don't think my gear could handle it. But I do have a nice seven weight today and a six weight. And I'm going to be casting out here close to the dam. And that's where apparently the big fish are. They wait for the little bait fish that come through and get shot through those turbines. And they're all disoriented and they pick them off. So it's supposed to be a really great spot to fish. I can't wait to get in there and start casting. Let's do it. Just that this rock's in the way from here. This is a good rock, but we'll see. Oh, got one. Yes. All right. How am I gonna do this, kid? Okay. Yeah. Where is he? There he is. Beauty. Nice little fish. That's awesome. That was like my second or third cast. We've never been to this spot before right here by the dam. And it was like my second or third cast with a jig bugger. And that guy took it. Beautiful little rainbow. Get back to fishing. Nice, nice. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, that's good size. Over there. Come here, buddy. Oh, shit. It's right over on the shore. Yeah, that's a good sized fish. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the net. 
Okay, I gotta come over there and grab that net from you. Where'd he go? Don't go under those rocks. God, he's got a lot of fighting on this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Come here, don't. Yes, okay, Woo. what a beauty, <laughs> oh good, that's a good sized fish, very nice fish. shaking just a beautiful looking fish and yeah he fought really well and fought for a long time and there's a lot of current here coming out right in front of this dam so they've got a lot of power on the rod took me a while to get him in and then quickly took a couple photos with him and let him go and yeah oh I feel so good that's awesome that's a good sized fish here in Montana super stoked about it oh I'm gonna keep casting Hmm. Oh, got one right there. No way. They were just waiting. I hadn't even let it out yet. <laughs> they were just waiting for me to drop it. Draws a dropper. I had not even let my line out. I was just about to cast. That's funny. And he went for this somewhat mangled. Oh, careful, buddy. Hilarious. That wasn't even a cast. Don't, don't you be flopping around. See him? A barbless hook. Hello, okay, you zooming on him? Yeah. That was proper. All right, that was pretty awesome. I was tossing the streamers over and over again because that's what I caught that big rainbow on. And then I thought, oh, I might as well try a dry dropper. So I hadn't even cast it out yet. I was just trying to get the line out past my rod. And one of these little guys here took it and yeah, the, the knots of the fly line to leader weren't even past the end of the rod tip. So just brought him in and really nice colors. Good fight for a little guy, I love this spot. Awesome, get back to fishing. There he is, yeah, fush. Don't go into the rocks, buddy. That was it. <laughs> I think that's what they're all going for is that white one. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> flush. A little flush. Okay, careful of the rod. There we go. Looks like a little brookie. Got him? Nice.
this has to be the most awkward spot to come on the first day of testing new gear because I'm standing on rocks off balance right next to this big wide river trying to cast these brand new rods that I haven't cast yet and there's a 20 foot rock wall behind me so the back cast has to be high and coming down low and try not to slap the line on the water too much to scare the trout away anyway while I was down there casting I did have one on the bamboo rod and but not very much luck so a guy that was floating out there he's been floating up and down here for a while now he said there's a better spot just a couple kilometers down maybe actually more like a half kilometer down so we're gonna put our stuff in the Jeep drive down a little bit and see if we can get some better luck down there So today I actually have three rods that I'm traveling with in the Jeep when we came down here. This is the Snowbee Diamond 2 and it's the six weight nine foot. Um, this is the first day I was casting it and like I said, I kind of had a weird back cast situation with the really steep rocks behind us. And I was able to get the line out and I can generate quite a bit of line speed with this one, which I'm happy about. Next up, we have this one. This is the Headwaters Bamboo Victory Series and it's just a three weight eight foot. And it's the first bamboo rod I've ever been casting with. So it was pretty cool to come out here today and cast my first bamboo rod ever. Uh, I had, took me a little while to get used to and I just had a little parachute atoms on there but after a while I got used to the casting stroke. You have to slow it down quite a bit because the rod's a bit slower and it felt really good. And last up for the rods is this one right here. This is the Snowby Spectre RMX 10 foot seven weight. And also this is the first 10 foot rod I've ever had. And this one came in really handy today. Uh, I had it set up with the intermediate line and I was able to cast it out really well because the extra foot gave me a little bit more clearance against those tall rocks behind me. Um, so that was really nice. And the last two things I'm gonna talk about today is this, the Vixen Lanyard. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, they're really cheap, but basically it holds all my tools in one spot and I've shown it in previous videos before. And the Vixen pack I'm wearing around my hip. It's just a hip pack, but it's enough space to keep two fly boxes and in the front it has these detachable fly foams that you can just pull out, change your fly really quick, put it back in. There's also some space for some extra spools and stuff in there. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to talk about this. This is the Snowbee Spectre 7.8 cassette reel. And I've also never had a cassette reel before this one, but it's pretty cool because I just went to the fly shop yesterday, filled it all up with a bunch of different spooled lines. And so I've got an intermediate, a floating, sinking tip, and it's really nice to not have to buy an expensive spool for every single different line you want. You just change the cassettes in and out. So that's pretty awesome. And as always, I'm going to be doing reviews for all of these products I'm using in this episode and in every different episode that we're doing of the Montana fly fishing vlog series so make sure you subscribe and also look down below the video there'll be some links in the description and that's all the gear for today let's head down here and try this new spot <laughs> yeah, she loves to go. She just stares at the, yeah. the fish rise and she gets all excited. She's a fisher. All right, I'm gonna end this video here, but I had some good luck down closer to the dam. Caught a few nice fish on there. That one pretty nice sized rainbow. I was really happy about that one. Uh, that was drifting the streamer. And then we came up here and I could sight fish for the fish so I could see them down there, which has kind of been rare lately for me. I haven't been able to see the fish so easily. But down in this spot here, a little further away from the dam, I was able to see some fish down there, but I, I tried everything to get them. I did a hopper dropper. I did a double nymph rank and I was just kind of high stick and tight lining across them. And a couple of my nymphs went right across their noses and they just refused it. So I think it got pretty hot out here in the afternoon and the fishing kind of slowed down. So I'll end the video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified next time we make a new video. Uh, we're making these new Montana vlog series. We're almost done now. We've been here for almost two months, um, but next up we'll go somewhere else, maybe in Canada or back down here in the States or in Europe. I don't know yet, but we're going to continue this vlog series here. So stay tuned, hit the notification bell. Until next time, tight lines.